Okay, so welcome to another episode. Uh, we are at Santa Ana's, uh, right next door to Red Sky Beer Brewery tonight. We got our own little food cart, which is quite exciting. It'll be the first time that I've ever really done anything in a food cart, so I'm quite excited for that. Um, as mentioned in the previous episode, Pitt will be with us, and we are going to be making some tacos. I've no idea what he's got planned, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be amazing. So if you're not subscribed yet, please take a minute and click the subscribe button down there. I make videos about food, I do recipes, it's always fun, it's always entertaining, and sometimes even a little educational. Uh, but enjoy this one, guys. So we, we paused for a while because uh, uh, we just had to do some hair and makeup quickly for Pete. Exactly. There's a lot of hair and a lot of makeup to make me <laughs> Okay, but the action is going to happen now. So, so we go through a lot of effort to, uh, to produce organic corn tortilla that, 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 that really you know, produces very specific flavor. And one of the few people that we trust to work with our tortillas is Daniel over here. Every Friday night you can dine with Daniel at Red Sky Brewery and you can have a taco, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a taco, man? Who wants a taco? I want a taco, man. I'll have a taco. What taco are you cooking me today, man? Right, tonight on the on the taco menu, uh, we got some uh, some beautiful yellowtail, uh, which we picked up from Gordon's Bay Fisheries. Uh, beautiful, fresh, which we've just marinated in a bit of uh, a bit of peppers. There's some uh, fresh coriander in there, uh, a bit of um, Cajun spice as well, olive oil, garlic. Yeah, you know, just all, all sorts of goodness in there, and we basically just prepare it simply. Uh, the taco shells are, 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 are a pretty kiff product, so you don't really have to do too much to them. What I really like about the, the choice of fish here, yellowtail is one of the few green fish that we have in South Africa. Exactly. It still has a bit of an oil content yes. to it. And, you know, I think it's an amazing combination. I actually had one earlier, so I'm cheating. <laughs> yeah, you Take did. Take straight, dude. Yeah, look, I mean, it is it, it is one of those fish that actually holds together nicely as well when you when you when when you fry it up. Pete, if I can ask you in that door, I just saw something that I yes, really really enjoy quite seen it. a lot. <laughs> this is a fermented chili sauce that Daniel makes that yes, I'm that is quite our, addicted to. That is, and we can uh, throw some of that on the taco if you should, like yeah, as well. Yeah. I mean. Chili is one of those uh, interesting fruits or vegetables that actually becomes, becomes better with yes. age and uh, Daniel ages it and needs some oil and it just builds some really really deep umami flavors as you go along and it's amazing on on tacos yes, it is. and a go. nice little nice little tip that we like to do not everybody likes it you just give it a bit of a dip you can spray water on it if you like it's just uh, helps to soften nicely we put on the flat top there There we go, we got all of our fish in there. It's nice with the peppers and the, the, the green and yellow peppers, and the red onions in there, and the, of course the fresh coriander. So we're just gonna give that, it's, we're just cooking it through. We don't really wanna overcook it. You wanna still keep a bit of the softness you know, when you work with a fresh product like that, you don't really... Overcooking is just torture, I think, you know? <laughs> so our salsa there, this is basically uh, some nice diced uh, pineapple. We've got uh, some peppers in there, some onions, uh, the salt, um, uh, cracked black pepper. Uh, some vinegar, olive oil, and that's pretty much about all, all that you need for that. Yeah. 
like about this diet was because it is using restraint in the amount of um, protein you put in taco. A, a taco is a snack. Um, yeah. A taco originally means to fill a gap, right? So you just want to really take the hunger and the edge off. You, uh, you don't want to have a massive meal. Uh, and I think that that's one of the biggest issues that we have with, with tacos. Everybody wants, everybody's looking for value for money. And people, when you when you make a taco, they expect it to be piled full of chicken and full of the meat and this and that, and it's, you lose the essence. It must be something small and dainty. Like that snack that kicks it. it down. Yeah, it must. It must yeah, kick. Yeah. It must kick a t uh, kick a punch. You know, it must. And then. Uh, Daniel, so we so we add. Oh yeah, load okay. some of that on, bro. Just that little kick of lime, a little bit, a couple Always of drops, citrus, huh? makes the world of difference to anything, over your steak, over a piece of chicken, over your salad, anything, just that little extra little bit of lime, or rock your world. Should we do that? I think we should do. Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. I'm having the time of my <laughs> life. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. That was amazing, guys. Thanks for being part of awesome. this. I really appreciate your time. Daniel, thank you. Pit. Oh, awesome you stuff. Adam. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Cheers! You can never have just one taco, man. Right? They need to make love. They may have to be two tacos to, to, to really reproduce some more tacos. <laughs> yeah.